Hi everyone, welcome back to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can install an Active Directory domain services on the DNS roll on server 2008. Now, before I start, I want to talk about some of the terminology that I used. The first question is what is an Active Directory domain service? Uh, well, an Active Directory domain service is used to provide several services to an organization. At its core, it is a big database of objects, you know, such as users, computers, and groups, and is used to centrally organize and manage all the objects within an organization. Now, a single user will have a single user account in an Active Directory and can use this single account to access multiple computers in the organization. Um, so that's why when you're in Custard and you, know, you create an account, you can probably go in lab 214 and log in and or you, if you want, you go in lab 216 and also log in, you know, with just this one username and password. So now they call this the single sign-on. So let's start. Now, typically what some users do to um, install this role AD, well, I'll call Active Directory Domain Services the AD, right? So what they do is they go to roles and they click on add roles, next and they'll choose this one here, next, next, but as you can see here, after they create it, they will need to use a tool called DC Promote in order to promote that um, ADDS that they created into a fully functional domain controller. And now, this really is, a, to me, is a waste of time when I can just go straight to using the DC Promote tool. So, I'll go to start and search for DC Promote. And it's gonna start the tool Okay, click first, you click on next, and you click on next. Oh, we are creating a new domain, a new forest, so we're selecting this. Next. Oh, I need to choose a fully qualified domain name for your um, AD. Well, I will choose testlab.com. You can choose anything you want. You can put like my name is bob.net or hihello.org, it doesn't really matter. So you click on next. All right, so as you can see, you can choose the forest functional level now. If you want to read up more about what this forest functional level is about, I suggest you go to the TechNet library from Microsoft.com. It explains it clearly, but what I could tell you is that in a nutshell, that the forest functional level identifies the capabilities within the forest, and that the um the domain functional level can only be as high as the lowest operating system running on a DC domain controller in the domain. Now we'll, you'll see domain con, um, domain domain functional level next, but I'm just telling you beforehand. Now the, um, the forest functional level can only be as high as the lowest domain functional level in the forest, right? So if we choose Windows Server 2000 and Windows Server 2003 as the forest functional level, then the domain functional level will have to be at least Windows Server 2003 or higher. Okay, well, I'm going to choose 2003. So now you'll see this domain functional level, it can be 2003 or 2008. And as we said before that the domain functional level, the forest, sorry, the forest functional level can only be as low as the highest domain functional level. So which means that 2003 will be absolutely the lowest for um, the domain functional levels. In other words, we cannot have Windows 2000 as the um, domain functional level. And of course, you should also know that the um, basically higher that you go, it'll be seeing more features that you are going to get. But what should be noted is that all, if you choose 2003 now, you can always promote it to 2008 at a later time, but you can never demote it from 2008 to a lower one. So I'm just gonna choose 2003, it doesn't really matter because this is just a video showing you how to install the um, Active Directory domain services and I click on next. Okay, and well, of course, in order for um, AD um, DS to work properly, there needs to be a DNS server. And of course, DC Promote sees that you do not have a DNS server, so what it's gonna do is ask you to um, install a, a DNS server. So we just click on next. Okay, here it's basically telling you that you are currently using a dynamic IP. So what it, so I'm gonna say, no, I will assign a static IP address to the um, physical network adapters. Okay, so what you do is go right click, network sharing center, manage network connections, right click, properties, disable IPv6, because we're not gonna use that, go to properties, use an IP, well, I'm gonna use any class C, one, one. 
of course they'll fill in something that masks for you automatically and the default gateway you can just leave it empty and for the um dns server we just wanted to point it back to itself which is 192.168.1.1 so i press ok close and we continue yes okay and this is um asking us where we want to store the database folder the logs files folder and the sysfull folder now for the purposes of a lab environment we can install everything on a on a, the same local disk and well for the purposes of small businesses but like maybe a few ten a few hundred you well, not a few hundred but like around 100 users or less you know you can install everything on the same hard disk but in huge enterprise environments where you know there are tens of thousands of users it is usually wise to put the logs folder in one hard drive by itself and maybe the database and sysfull folder in our next hard drive and the server 2008 itself in another hard drive but for lab environment you can just leave everything as it is and we just click on next and we want a password in case we want to recover uh, it doesn't matter what you put password next okay so as you can see here there's some option for you to export these settings and what this does is basically um, export all these settings that you have configured into a text file so that for in future if you want to let's say install it in more than one server and you can always run a dc promo on a 10 and it'll automatically install it for you so let's just do that it's not compulsory it's optional but i'll just do it i'll show you how to actually um, do it on a 10 dc promo later on Okay, you just click on next and the server needs to do what it needs to do and of course after it installs it you, it needs to reboot the computer so i will just click on reboot on completion and when the server reboots i will resume back the video okay so the server is rebooted i'm going to log in now okay so i'm just going to close this off go to server manager So our Active Directory domain is installed. As you can see here, we are no longer on a work group, but testlab.com, in other words, the domain that we just created. Okay, so as you can see here, everything is working. Tesla, we can create new users if you want to. We can change user password. You can create new organizational units, create some sites, such as, let's say, Costa City Campus or Costa Tobago Campus, etc., etc. And of course, our DNS server here is also created. As you can see here, our IP is mapped onto our computer. But um, what you should notice is that while they installed the forward lookup zone, they didn't do any of the reverse lookup zone. So basically, what you can do is just right click, click a new zone. Next, primary will do to all the DNS servers in this domain, right? Next, IP4. Yes, and our network ID is 192.168.1. And next, allow secure. Well, you can choose for lab purposes, I guess you can choose any of these two, I guess. But I mean, in a real world environment, um, server admins will want to use the, um, this one because we don't we do not want any hackers just to basically log in and send us some um, fake DNS entries. So I mean, we could just, but I guess for the purposes of this, um, demonstration we can just use this one so we click on next and finished okay so after we did that what we want to do is right click here properties and we want to update the associated pointer record which is so that it will give um so it will populate the fields and the reverse lookup zone that's okay and we go back to here and we see this Okay, so now we want to ensure our DNS server is working, so we do NS lookup. Okay, let's try our own IP, which is 192.1.1. And as you can see here, the um, name of the desktop shows up, but the name of our computer, when the name of the server shows up. And also we can try putting in the name of our computer. Now this is a reverse lookup, right, because it transfers the IP into a um, domain. What we can do is... Um, go back to go back to here and well this is the name of our computer so we just copy and then paste it here so now this is going to be a forward lookup now 
and yes as you can see we see 192.168.101 .1 .1. so you see our dns server is fully functional and our active directory domain services is fully functional okay well thank you everyone for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it